Hello, my name is Valerie Anderson. I'm the Director of Communications and Programming for the Florida Native Plant Society. In this video, you'll learn how to, how to install the most recent stable release of QGIS for Mac 3.14, Pi. QGIS releases are usually named after places, but the developers couldn't help themselves and name this version, Pi. You'll need an Apple computer in order to follow this tutorial exactly. Up-to-date downloads are available on the QGIS website. There's no need to visit SourceForge or use a torrent program or the App Store. I'm using the Chrome browser here, but the procedures will be similar for other web browsers like Safari or Firefox. Type in QGIS.org to reach the main web page for the QGIS project. Conveniently, a download link is on the main page. The web page recognizes that we're on a Mac and gives us the Mac OS download tab. We want the most up-to-date version available, so we'll select version 3.14 rather than 3.10. Chrome places the download ribbon at the bottom of the browser window where you can watch the downloads progress. It's a heavy program, so this will likely take 3 to 15 minutes depending on your internet speed. I'm going to speed things up a bit here. Click on the download and then click open. This brings up the license agreement. QGIS is licensed under an open source license the GNU General Public License, or GPL, which means it's not only free to use, it's also possible to read its source code and share the program with anyone as long as you do so under the same license. Basically, it's not copyrighted, but you can't sell it. However, to improve compatibility with other non-free software, QGIS incorporates several libraries that have different license terms. You can review those license terms here. Click Agree to move on. Mac OS will open the disk image and verify it, which usually takes a while. In my case, almost three minutes. I'll speed that up too. Once that's finished, an installer window pops up, imploring you to drag QGIS 3.14 into your applications folder. So click, hold, and drag it there. You'll have to wait some more as your computer copies the program over. I'll speed this up as well. Once that's done, head to your finder to open QGIS for the first time. Click on your Applications folder, or shortcut. If you have a lot of programs, you may have to scroll to find QGIS once you get there. Look for the big green Q. Double-click to open QGIS. Mac OS then does some more verifying. I'll speed that up again. You'll get a warning since we downloaded it from the internet rather than using Apple's App Store. Don't worry, QGIS is a very safe, well-maintained program, not malware. Click Open to continue and have a look at the interface. Now that you've installed QGIS, you're equipped to start handling your own spatial data.